In this video, we're going to demonstrate WordFast Pro 4, which is WordFast's new version of WordFast Pro, and it just came out in the um, middle of 2016, so it's very new. So first thing, we're going to open the program here. This is just a demonstration, so I'm just going to show you some of the various features and reasons why I like it, so you can just kind of get an idea of how it works. So this is what it looks like when it first opens up and I'm just going to select do not warn me about this anymore. The first thing it's going to do is ask me if I want to create a new project. I'm just going to say no so you guys can see what it looks like otherwise. So one of the things I really like about it is that it's very intuitive. I was a little bit concerned moving from WordFast 3 to 4 that it wouldn't be nearly as user friendly, but it's actually almost more user friendly. So you see it right here it says drag and drop. I can actually literally just drag a file onto that screen and start translating. So I'm just going to show you first, this is the file that we're going to be working with today. Um, you can see it's an informed consent form, which is in French, and it's the language combination that I work in, and um, it is a very pretty simple file. So, <clears throat> if we drag and drop, immediately it opens the simple project creation wizard. And this would be useful if you were just really wanted to get a translation done pretty immediately. Um, it doesn't have a whole lot of options. It has a language combination. You can name the project. You can select multiple files, add a translation memory, but you cannot choose where you want the project to go. It's just going to go to a default location. Um, and you cannot add a glossary or a remote translation memory. So if you need any of those things, this is not the option for you. Um, you just see it's one screen right here and you just click finish. So I'm going to skip this for now just because I'll show you how to create a project right now. So I'm going to choose this drop down and go to advanced project wizard and I'm going to name this WordFast demo. Um, a great thing about WordFast is that you can use a simple wizard like I showed you. If you want to use the advanced wizard, you can even just create a project based on a previous one. That's going to use the same settings as your previous project, so that could save you some time. In this case, I'm going to set up a brand new project. Um, I do want to save it to the desktop because I'm going to be working with a demo project, but in general, I'll just have one file where all my WordFast projects go. So next. And now my source language is going to be French, and my target language is going to be English for the United States. So another cool thing is that we can actually still do the drag and drop. So I'm going to do that here. And click. I'm going to unclick Run Analysis just to save some time here. Next. I'm going to add a translation memory that I already have here in my demo, client tm demo. There it is. I go next. I'm not going to add a glossary. And then WordFast 4 offers the option to add reference files. I suppose this would be mildly useful if you were a project manager and you were sending an entire package. But when you open the reference files, it's inside of WordFast, and you can't really like search the files or do much with them. So I can't imagine any reason why I would ever use this feature, but it does exist. And you see the Finish button at the bottom throughout this entire process. So I didn't have to go all the way to step six. I could have just clicked Finish earlier. Just wanted to show you guys what it all looks like. So now I'm going to click Finish, and it just gives me a summary of what is done. And Again, very intuitive, so I'm just going to double click the project to open it, and I'm going to double click the file to start translating. For more information on WordFast Pro 4, check out successbyrx.com for my ongoing coaching and support program, and to watch the rest of this video that includes how to create a glossary, work with glossaries, auto suggest, trans check, how to filter segments, and a lot more. I'll see you over there.